Would you like to be able to take better control of who you follow and how many followers you have on Twitter? What if you hit a following limit uh, when you get to 5,000 people you follow? How do you get past that? Well, I want to introduce you to a great free piece of software called Unfollower Stats. And I'll show you how it works in this video. Here we go. So you need to go to your browser and type in unfollowerstats.com and then you say sign in with Twitter. Uh, you may already be signed into your account, but if not, just sign in here. You basically give him the app permission to synchronize with your account. And you'll see from the dashboard shortly a number of menu options here down the left hand side, the dashboard itself and followers, following, non-follow backs. The one we're going to focus in on is non-follow backs because if you've followed a number of people and then they haven't followed you back for some time, it's probably worth to get past that following limit on following a few of those people. And I'll show you how straightforward that is in a moment. So the synchronization is completed. It took about a minute and I've got a larger account so it may take less than that. So you can see the summary, unfollowers, that's how many people have unfollowed the account in recent times. Followers, following, and non-follow backs. And you can see who your best friends are, the people that mention you the most. Get a little word cloud, all these little dashboard features, the best tweets, all that kind of stuff. But yeah, it's the principle of going through the followers and deciding who to unfollow. Uh, so go on to non-follow back. And this is absolutely free to use. Yes, they do run adverts and ask for a donation. If you want to remove the adverts but um, essentially you know in this case quite a lot 5,000 who haven't followed me back and it would be the oldest first in this case for example that account only follows one so it's unlikely to follow back so it gives a rating and then so you can go through and just click on each one individually to unfollow now it takes a few seconds to come through and as you'd imagine that's partly down to the way Twitter works and it doesn't want rapid unfollowing all in one go. There's actually 40 in total to a page you can go through and unfollow. And it'll take about a minute or two to unfollow. But you know, if you're very close to the limit or you've hit the limit, then this is great because it's going to free up some more people that you can follow who you have more chance of them following back. So other options there. You can block a user account, you can mute the user. That's just a particular feature within Twitter where you don't see their content as often. But the main one is definitely the unfollow process because there's no limit. Some of the other software products I've used with this, you get a certain amount of unfollows for free, but after that, it's a paid service. Whereas unfollower stats works free of charge. So that's it for me. I hope that was useful. Let me know in the comments if you've used this or how you're going to use it going forwards. I'm Paul from PR Wilson Media, your social media personal trainer. Cheers.